Hello beautiful ladies, today we're gonna do this hairstyle. I had a request from my Modern Sparkle giveaway video on how to do the hair in the intro, and I will gladly oblige any hair requests for things that I don't already have a tutorial on. It's not exactly the same as the hair I did in that but you're never gonna get exactly the same hairstyle, but you can train it to do something similar. So the same basic idea of having it all whoosh forward is there. I've just added some creases in. I hope you guys enjoy. So what you're gonna wanna do to get started is pin curl all your hair with a curling iron, pin it, cool it. I suppose you could do a wet set or a hot roller set, but I find for this, it works best if you use a half inch barrel curling iron, pin it off, and let it cool for at least 20 minutes. And now we're ready to hairspray and then let it all down. Now that you have sprayed all of it, give it about 30 seconds to dry and then take all the pins out. Try not to pull at your curls too much as you're taking the pins out. Obviously the pins can get stuck in your hair sometimes. Be as careful as possible to not worry about your hair because that hurts and it can screw up your curl. Now just feel around to make sure you got all your pins. I missed one. Oh, I missed two. And now take your curls and your hands Kind of pull them in the direction you want. We're gonna have these curl towards the face so as we pull them down we're gonna start training them in that direction. Ooh, I forgot another one. What is with me today? Take them and pull them towards the face as you kind of break them up a little. Leave the bangs as is right now. We'll deal with them at the end. Now that we've broken up the curls a little bit, we're gonna do a quick spray. When we spray it when it's all pinned still, we can only get part of the layers. But it is still important to spray it because it gives us that extra hold. But now once we have more of the curl exposed, we're gonna spray it again. Longevity is key and hairspray will accomplish that. Once you've sprayed, scrunch it up with your hand. This helps it keep its shape even better. By the way, I'm using vintage glam hairspray. I love this stuff. They sell it at Sally Beauty. I will swear by it. I really like it. The scent can be a bit strong, but it's by nowhere near the level of Elnette's. But you still get a really good brushable curl with this hairspray and it won't flake everywhere. Now take your Denman brush and start brushing with your hand towards your face. Be gentle with the curls. You don't want to get rid of the curl. You just want to shape it. Blend all your top layer together. Now when you get to the back part, put it on your hand and brush it under. You want it to make a U shape under your hair. So this is going forward and this is going under. Most vintage hairstyles all start from the same general kind of set. It's how you train the curls with the brush when you're done setting it that really makes the different styles. Be patient with your brushing too. It doesn't happen in a couple of minutes to get the perfect brush out. Notice I'm using the brush against my hand to really shape the curl. 
What I find helps a lot for these styles that come forward is to brush big chunks of it into the shape and then taking those and kind of brushing through the whole thing now that the shape is kind of trained and then breaking it up after. And that's what's giving me that shape. I know, it's very descriptive, very precise. So the thing about this hairstyle is you can have a very dramatic roll in in the front, kind of like I have right now, but it looks much better in the front than the side or the back. So for a photo shoot, I'd say leave it very dramatically rolled forward. If you're going to wear this style out, I'd break it up a bit more, which is just a matter of brushing it out and pulling it apart a bit. You can still get that roll and just try and keep it broken up. There we go. So now let's do our bangs. Gonna take our basic comb, spray, let it dry for a second, tease. Now don't tease too much, we're not going for a big bang, we're just trying to make sure it all is trained in the right direction and has enough hair to grip on the pin. We'll do one last good spray. Let it dry for a second. Now take our Denman. I'm just gonna smooth out the top layer don't brush too deep or else you'll pull out all the tees. And then brush all the ends together. So now that we're to this point, you could turn it into a swoop, but you don't want to have to worry about your bangs moving all day and them still looking very cute, take the end, turn it into a circle, like so, roll it, and then place it where it's flattering. Make sure there aren't any flyaways. Take a bobby pin. Try and hide it as best you can. And then shape. When I style my bangs this way, they tend to stay with just one bobby pin. If yours aren't staying, please use two bobby pins. And if you crisscross them and still manage to hide them, then they really won't move. Now take the hairspray, spray the bangs. Make sure there's no flyaways, that it's laying cute. So now that the bang's in, I'm just gonna shape a little more. So I like how this has developed on this side. So I'm gonna try and train that into the other side. Something good for training creases in your hair is duckbill clips. So this one's about here. So this one, I'm gonna try and get about there. So now that that duckbill's starting to train that crease, I can brush this hair into the sweeping motion for 
for good measure, I'm gonna keep that crease going. So now I'm going to spray and then push. This will also help train the crease into the hair. Same thing on the other side. But since the pins are in, it's really gonna train that crease. Which it needs it, it's not matching the other side yet. Just gonna take these out very carefully. And now the two sides are symmetrical. They don't have to be, but sometimes it's nice. Now I like the juxtaposition of having the roll on one side and an accessory on the other side. So I'm gonna take this beautiful hair flower from Vintage Box 1947 and I'm gonna pull my hair up just a touch and then pin down towards my face. Try and keep that crease in. And just finagle the hair a touch. And there you have it. Our cute 1940s hairdo. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to like if you liked it. Comment if you have things to say. Positive things only. Let's all play nicely. And subscribe to see more tutorials. I love making them. I hope you guys love seeing them. If you subscribe, you'll never miss one of them. Have a wonderful day. Now that it's all sprayed, <coughs> try not to asphyxiate yourself. And then give it a minute to all dry. Whew, that is strong. <coughs> Every time. Every time I make that mistake. I think I learned. I don't. I don't learn.